Hi guys and welcome to iClone 3D. I'm back today with another tutorial on how to use the IRA render. It's going to be a very quick tutorial. So what you want to do is of course have your character loaded up or whatever you want to IRA render. I'm just going to kind of look at a character for now. You can IRA render anything from kind of, you know, props, cars, you know, anything you wish. So I'm going to do a character. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to head over here to my props panel and I'm just going to put in a scene. I'm just going to load up a kind of interior environment. Uh, let's just load up this for now. Um, and the reason I'm going to do this is because with the IRA render, it really is all about your kind of light setup and how your lights are set up. They have to kind of be set up in the right way to get the best render from IRA render. So um, I'll just show you a really quick, simple way to do that. You know, click of a button uh, instead of getting kind of too technical. Oops, we've lost our character. So yeah, instead of kind of getting really technical with it, I'll just show you a kind of simple, easy, easy workaround that we can actually do to get some really cool IRA renders. Right, so this is our scene. Now, if you've got the IRA render plugin, all you need to do is come up to plugins go onto your IRA render and then turn on your toolbar. I've already got mine turned on. So we'll just then head over here and this is basically your IRA render toolbar, these four functions here. Now I just use the preview. This is literally gonna preview whatever you've got in this scene. It's gonna give you a preview of that in an IRA render format. So I'll just click preview and that can take a minute to load up. Um, it does, you know, it calculates all the light sources when it does these type of renders. So, you know, quite heavy on the computer. So um, as that loads up there, we're going to see now the preview scene. Now, as you can see straight off the back, really dark. You can't see anything. And, you know, a lot of people might get here and think, what what is going on? And the reason is, is because there's actually no, there's no light sources set up. So you're not going to get a good image. So what you need to do is we need to come over here into our template. And if we just go into the set tab, sorry, the stage tab. And as I've discussed in a previous tutorial, we've got these really quick, really easy presets. Now we want to be careful because some of these, they're actually going to remove the whole scene. So if you put some of these ones on here, they remove the whole scene that you've got set up. So you'd have to then, you know, start again and re-put that scene back in, etc. But if we scroll down, we're going to find some really cool ones from iClone 7. Now these ones here, they don't actually change the scene and they just drop straight onto the character. So we'll pop one in there and just see how that looks. It may take a sec to load up. Just bear with me because I'm doing this all in real time for you. And hopefully the computer hasn't frozen. Nope, perfect. So now we've popped that on and you can see that's kind of changed up the scene a little bit. So if we just hit preview, and let's just kind of see what look we get from that preset. And now again, it does take a bit of time guys, so just bear with me because I am doing it all in real time. Um, as soon as that loads up, we'll kind of get an idea of what that's gonna look like. I think it may still be a bit dark, but no, perfect, as you can see. So that's given some really, really cinematic light. Now I'm just gonna go over to my IRA render tab and I'm gonna turn on the denoise so we can get a kind of clearer image. So yeah, and also the, another thing, so if you are using the IRA render, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then you can actually turn on denoiser, but you have to have an NVIDIA graphic card. But as you can see straight away, it's given some really smooth skin textures and it's just really kind of smoothed out the whole scene in general. I'll turn that off so you can kind of have a look without that denoiser. And this is kind of the image you get without the denoiser. So you can see it's a bit more pixelated, a bit more rough around the edges. And then put, pop that denoiser on and that really kind of instant kind of effect instantly kind of smooths out the skin and makes that image much more smooth and refined. So yeah, just going off kind of topic, that's just another cool feature if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. But we can see here, this has given us a really, really, really good image, you know, really usable. And you know, that's simple to kind of use the IRA render. So you can see, you know, it's, it's a completely different image we're getting from our, you know, viewport. And if we rendered out, you know, a quick image 
from the viewport just to kind of see what sort of quality we're working with with a kind of render. So we'll render that in a, a 4K Ultra HD and we'll just come down here and on the final render we'll leave it on 3.3 free free, and that's going to give you kind of the highest quality and we'll just export that and just to kind of you know see what we're working with uh, in terms of how the IRA render differs from the quality you get back. Um, just gonna kind of wait for that to, you know, render off. Right, and here we have it. So here we have that rendered image. And, you know, if you just compare, you know, you can just see straight away, you know, massive, massive difference. And that is how powerful, you know, the IRA tool is in iClone, you know, a phenomenal, phenomenal tool because you can really see the difference. You know, I rendered this off at uh, a free, free anti-aliasing, which is, you know, the highest quality you can get. So that's, you know, you know, that's downsampling from, you know, a really, really kind of extremely high quality image sampled over, you know, nine times. And you can see it just, it doesn't touch the image that we get here in the IRA render. So. So what IRA Render is useful for is to ultimately, you know, render off a really kind of high quality, commercial ready kind of production picture. And you can just hit save up here and you can then go and save that image. Uh, and you know, that, that that's then saved in your files. And you can save that as a PNG or you can save that as a JPEG, etc. So I hope that tutorial helps guys. You know, it was just a quick one just to kind of show you how to use the IRA render really quickly and kind of, you know, the difference in quality that you're actually getting, which is, you know, phenomenally, phenomenally high. So I'm just going to put on a kind of another template for you just to show you, you know, the different looks you can kind of get with the different presets. But, you know, already that look I'm seeing, you know, absolutely phenomenal in front of the screen. Uh, that should change any second, um, you know, just bear with it. It's just loading up. Um, not seeing yep so there we go as you can see background's gone a little bit darker it's pronunciated the light a lot more on the subject you know brought more of his features out it's a much more stronger emphasis on the character's face and you can just you know go through these there's you know loads of different presets that you can use um i would i'm not sure about these ones because i think if you put these on they change the scene and you then have to kind of reset your props in the background so but it's these ones that i'm kind of looking at here and the ones that I'm focused on today, these kind of just pop straight on and add, you know, add a huge, huge difference to the scene. So really hope that helps you guys get creative and, you know, really, you know, render off some amazing IRA renders. And um, just another quick thing down here is your iteration. Just really quickly, this is just the quality you're going to get back from the image. So a thousand, you'll get a pretty decent image. As you can see, it's at 185 already and already you're looking like you know, you're looking at a really pretty decent image on screen so um i'd say if you're kind of doing a commercial level production you know anywhere between 3000 and 6000 is what i tend to use to render off um so yeah that's just how to use the ira render preview and to get an image from it you know there is there is you can also look at how to kind of ira render off video um i tend to not use that it takes hours and hours so i don't ever kind of render off a video as you can see for one image at a thousand iteration it's taken you know a few minutes here still and that's just for one frame so if you can imagine doing you know 200 frames let alone a thousand or five thousand frames it's going to take a lot a lot of time to render that off in the iray render uh, especially on iclone it takes quite a long time so i tend to only use it for images to render off really powerful images, really amazing pictures that you can then go on to kind of publish on your website or social media. And yeah, hope that helps and hopefully see you again for another tutorial.